You're Aloy, right? My pop... Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja. Pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glentalk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I'd love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... <sighs> right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at... Let's be generous. Half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen. If we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie. She's beautiful. But there's beautiful, and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a Bellowback snout. Any Bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. You're sure you can fix up this thing? You bet. Probably. Just need that Stormbird talent. This forge fire of yours, what do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a Bellowback snout ought to do it. I'm not picky. So we need parts from a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw? And you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the Valley Meet and a Stormbird roost near the Free Heap. I'll pack and meet you out there. This will be fun. Okay. I'll give this to the Osram. Whatever they do, they do with passion.
us now. The northeast edge of the cut. Umyak said I'd find the claws beneath nearby.
I was beneath. The map wasn't lying when he said you were tough. Can do it. Varja can finish her forge fire now. this red dust. Well, there's our Stormbird. When you're ready, I'll follow up and boom. Dust. <laughs>
hunting me. Or just that she can improve the storm signals. Got that part you need. Perfect. I already got machine oil on my hands. Okay, Varja, let's move on. You don't want to catch some of that Karja sun? Nah, you're right. I'll find a use for you.
Sure feels good to be out of knee-deep snow. So, we've got a thunder drop. I'm ready to do this. On your lead. Varja should be able to fix up the ice rail.
It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rockbreaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you've more than earned it. One day, Stone Moon, all in it. The next, it's by the new. Found the part. Ready to fix up that weapon? I am always ready to fix up a weapon. Never thought I'd be glad to see the inside of a Thunderjaw's mouth. I sure am. Every machine's a big box of tools. Once they stop trying to kill you, that is. Trust me, Aloy. You won't recognize this ice rail when I'm through. There. Oh, she's perfect. A spear's a spear, right? Poke slash done. Boring. I adjusted the chill water flow, rebalanced here, strapped on a launcher, and now she shoots freezing spikes. Ta-da! You weren't kidding. More beautiful, more powerful. That's my guarantee. Here it is, one Stormbird Talon. Let's do it. I haven't had this much fun in ages. Watch and learn, Aloy. Only, don't stare directly at the sparks. <clears throat> okay, so I pretty much had to break her in half. But what's a staff? A stick. One thing I like about sticks, you can put them back together however you want. Which you did. This thing looks a whole lot more dangerous. She's better than dangerous. She's a genuine Varja special now. Take good care of her. I've got what you asked for. Show me what you had in mind for the forge fire. Finally! I was feeling like I neglected her. And that's a little too close to my family life. She's done, and she's yours. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That looks great. I almost expected you to turn it into a burning rope caster or something. Nah, she was close to perfect from the start. She's a Varja original, after all. Thanks, Varja. These three weapons are fine work. Are you kidding? I can't remember when I had this much fun. I should be thanking you. I'm the one walking away with the weapons, aren't I? Seems wrong to charge you for giving me an opportunity to do what I love doing. Don't tell Pop I said that. Here, whenever I tinker with weapons, I go through fistfuls of this stuff. Maybe you'll get some use out of it. Let's hope Kopali takes care of the murderer quickly. Best we don't know. Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost crops. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. The but our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, 
She's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The cars are used her to capture them for the Sun Ring. Where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratak. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it, and so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banok has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, 
I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Von Orr from the distant north, the young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What are we gonna find up there, Horea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. I still need to take care of a few things. Understood. I'll be here. <laughs>